now the time that everyone is looking forward to, story time. So, children, old and young, you can come up here to the front. about a hundred, maybe a little over 150 years ago. Two young men joined up to fight in the Civil War. Now, some people call that the war between the states. But it was a little over 150 years ago. And they signed up and, and they met and they started training and they got to know each other. You know, they, they learned to shoot guns. They learned to march. Good weather, bad weather, snow, rain, sunny hot days. They marched a lot. And in the evening, they would be camping out around the campfire. And in the evening, they, they frequently talked about home about their families and loved ones that were back home. And you know what? They became really good friends. But unfortunately, in a really bloody battle one day, Jack found his good friend Bill mortally wounded. Now, mortally means that he was seriously wounded almost to death. And when Jack found Bill, he realized that his wound was very serious and he was going to die. In fact, Bill knew it too. He knew that he was going to die. And I say, we're there together. Bill said, he reached into his jacket and pulled out a blood-stained letter. And he said, Jack, I didn't have time to mail this to my parents. Would you see that they get it? And Jack said, sure. Well, Jack made it through the rest of the war until there was a truce and the war was over. Now, when the war was over, a lot of the men were left far from home. And the railroad said that anybody that wanted to travel by railroad, if they were returning soldiers, they could hop on the train. Now, some of these returning soldiers, they, they didn't have much to go back to. Many of their homes had been destroyed. Many of their family was gone. So, Sometimes when they got home and they found out there wasn't anything left, they would grab some hoe from the shed and they would go about with their hoe in their hand trying to get people to pay them the hoe weeds. And they became known as hoe boys. Now, some people think that this is where the term hobos came from. Hoboys. Don't know for sure. Could be. So Jack became one of these hoboys. And through his travels, trying to work to earn something, a hot meal or something to eat, he finally made it to Connecticut. The address of his friend, Bill. 
Now, when he got there, he didn't look real good. His clothes were kind of dirty and torn. His shoes were practically worn out. And as he stood there and he looked at the grand house where his good friend Bill lived, he was almost afraid to go up and knock on the door. It was so nice. But finally, he got the courage and he went up to the door and he knocked. An older couple came to the door and they looked out. And the gentleman said, I am sorry. Times are very rough. Money is short. Food is short. We just can't afford to feed every hobo boy that comes around here. And Jack was dismayed. He turned around and he started to leave. And then he remembered the letter. And he said, oh, I have a letter from Bill. Well, the couple went, wow, you knew our son? Well, Jack said, well, yes, we were the very best friends. I was with him when he died. And the older couple said, come on in, please come in. And they took the blood-stained envelope, the letter, and they started reading it. And they were, they were in tears. But you know what? When they finished reading it, he said, you come into our house. Everything that our son had is yours now. Thank you for being a friend. So, you know, I only took that one precious name and he was invited in. And I'm thinking that there's another precious name that will let us in. It's the name Jesus Christ. Amen. And when God is admitting people to heaven, he's going to say, he's not going to say, how good were you? He's not going to say, how many good things did you do? He's going to say, you know my son, Jesus. So that name is important to know. The Bible tells us, in John 14, 6, that Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. And no one comes to the Father except through me. John 16, 15 says, All things that the Father has are mine. Therefore I said that he will take care of mine and declare it to you. So it doesn't matter how dirty and how poor, how wretched, Jesus promises that when we come to the Father in his name, we get the same kind of reception. And we will be the adopted sons and daughters of God. So let's pray. My precious Heavenly Father, we thank you for sending your beloved Son from heaven to the sinful world to live as we are in a human body, that he might save us from sin, that he might through him overcome sin and temptation as he did. May the Holy Spirit guide us and keep us so that we can be the person you want us to be. And we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.